So we're kicking off Fourth of July week by getting you ready to go outside and eat some delicious barbecue food. Here to show us how to do it, the cook champion himself on ribs, right? You're on the ribs. champion on ribs. Mm. BBQ and A with Myron Nixon is the is the winningest man yeah, in barbecue. That, what they're trying to say is <laughs> winningest. The with, you're the 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 winest. It says winest in the you're telephone. You're the winest man in word. barbecue. I made up that word. Really? Well, listen, we're happy to <laughs> win and win with you. Myron, good to have you back. So, what are we going to do today? Every time we think about doing barbecue, for the majority of us, you think about ribs. So that's what we're doing oh, today. I we're doing it. a marinated rib, and this is the marinade I came up with a few years so ago, insane. but it does a real great job for us. Okay. okay. All right, we're going to start out right here. You got your soy sauce. Soy. You got the ginger ale. Well, you ginger well, ale. Ginger ale. Let's, let's get our liquid. Let's, let's I get the it. liquid. I shook it in the commercial. <laughs> I'm so brave. Ginger ale. So brave. Ginger ale. All of it. All of it. Then you got your OJ over here. How did you come up with this? Well, you got to have acid to break down the the meat. He was Is in the true? laboratory. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was making up a CC and ginger, and then I had a vodka. <laughs> uh, I was just gonna say. <laughs> All right. Then we come in here. We got our dried ranch dressing mix. Dried, dried. ranch. Wow. Yep. This and is. We got uh, salt. You Real are really chemistry lesson. The whole thing? Salt. Whole thing? The whole thing. Whole thing. You gotta have that salt. Mm -hmm. I mean, listen to it gurgle. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's gurgling. Yeah, all we need is the moonshine in there and you be ready to rock. Moonshine. moonshine. Do you make moonshine? Yes, I do. My granddad did. He got caught making it. <clears throat> well, no one's Back gonna know 40s. about you now. Yeah. Back in the 40s. <laughs> My dad hauled liquor. He got caught hauling too. Well, no kidding. A, yeah. a family of hoodlums. Okay, all right, all right. Let's it? pour it over. Oh, pour it over. Okay. All right, Ooh, you got it over. Look at it drown in that. There you go. Mm. Now we're gonna put it down here in our fridge. Yeah, for five put it in hours. the fridge slash smoker. <laughs> five, five, five hours in the fridge. Five hours. And let so it just you need soak. Pr you need advanced time. And I got one right here. It has been in the fridge for five hours. Oh. So now what we do? We take it out of the marinade. Okay. Oh my gosh. You want to pat it dry? Get it dried off a little bit. Mm-hmm. I'm still fascinated with the concoction. Yeah, I know, me too. I always start with the bottom of the rib because we want the top to look the best. A little bit of olive oil. Okay. Boy, okay. they rub it in here. Take our rub. Mm. Flip it. Do the top last because you want it to look the best. Okay. It's all going to fall off that bone, right? There you go. Mm. Uh, now, ready to go on our smoker. Okay. All right. All right, we got one that's been on the smoker for a little while. Okay. <laughs> you would pull that yeah, down from <laughs> So we're going to add a little bit of water. We'd like two hours on the smoker. Now it's time to tender it up. Put about a half a cup of water. Huh. Take your foil. Cover it tight. This is going to help tenderize it up. You no, no. Okay, Tell here I go. Here I go. Put it again. back? Yes. And goes then back. Will, uh... How long is it back on? Myron? Back on for about an hour. Oh, this to is get a it full tender. Day oh. Then so you, you uncover it. A... See how tender that is? Look at that yeah, meat right there. Right there. So you need a lot of advanced time. Like you need six. You're gonna need like four or five hours to get this done. And more than that, really, to get all your ingredients up. It's right. a process. Everybody's got to have a schedule. Everybody right. thinks schedules is just for competition barbecue. Right. But you got schedules, whether you're doing it at home or at a restaurant or whatever, you want it to come off at a certain time, you have to have a yeah. schedule. You do. So you're this right. is tricky if you're entertaining to do all this, right? You need yes. to really sort of be focused on it. You, and while you're focused on it at your pool party, you're over there manning the grill and everybody's drinking up your booze. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and they're having fun and you're right. over there manning you're the grill. Out, right. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your number one barbecuing tip? Number one barbecuing tip would be always cook with a meat thermometer. I don't care what kind of protein you're doing, whether it's chicken, beef, no kidding. pork, always cook with a meat thermometer to make sure you get it to the proper uh, internal doneness. I mean, you don't want to undercook chicken, you don't want to overcook it, anything. You want it right. to be perfect. And the only way to do that is cook with a, a meat temperature. thermometer. Huh. All right. This, the recipes are all on our website, but can we taste it? Yes, we can. Ryan is very excited. Uh, salivating. You know, oh, when this. Ryan reads your names in the show notes, he starts salivating the night before. By the way... I don't want to alarm you, but I just think you should know that. I, I, I sleep My with wife me. used to do that, but that day is over. Aw, I'm sorry. Well, we're still together, Myron. <laughs> we're still together. <laughs> we got each other, buddy. Listen. All right, let's try it. All right, let's go. Chef you. Myron's... Here, you, you go. I'm going to read. Uh, Chef Myron's uh, book, BBQ&A with Myron Mixon, is available now. <laughs>